I'm Marilyn Minter. I'm a painter, a photographer, and a video artist. Don't kill me. I get caught up in the moment. I actually don't see anything. I just see what I want to make. I got a vision. I just make it. Someone else comes along and tells me what it means. I never think about it at all. But it does seem to be a thread through all my work, this kind of skewed glamour or beauty. But it was something I didn't really put together until, you know, I was 40. <laughs> We're working like crazy. This is the first time I've made a show where I'm actually not working with the image. I'm really just work working with broken glass and graffiti glass. The image just happens to be behind the glass. I just make these giant inkjet prints. We just tape them together with scotch tape. Then we put them on the wall. I put a piece of glass in front of them. I break the glass. I run water on it. I have this kid that works for me who was a graffiti artist when he was 15, got put in jail. He does the graffiti. Then we erase it. Then we play around and we just are in the zone for hours till we get these different shots. And then it takes about two days to get the uh, image, the scans back from the processor. And then we play around with the scans until we make an image to make a painting out of. Mm -hmm. It's complicated. Okay. I have a mother that was a drug addict and I just went home one weekend and said, uh, Mom, let me take your pictures. And she said, sure, because she was at one time a really beautiful woman and she had a real problem with pulling out her hair, so she had to wear wigs. So I just had her put her wig on. She was always in bed, so she put a negligee on and I never thought anything of it. This was what I knew. I brought him back to school and I showed him in the, uh, the proof sheets and I, you know, people were horrified that that was my mother and I just like, whoa, I didn't know that was going to happen. I really, all of a sudden I got a picture, oh, this is not what other people's mothers look like. Well, when I like my work, I, I, I'm successful. And if someone else responds to it, I think that's a little more important to me than financial success. I sort of feel like if you're slightly marginalized, you're hungrier and you can make, take more risks and be more playful. If you're slightly marginalized, you can be a lot, nobody pays any attention. <laughs>